I want to tell a short story about needing to go to an orthodontist. She had put a crown on my tooth because of a cracked tooth nine years ago. So I figured, well, everything went well. She was very quiet, very serious, seemed very skilled at her work. So when my current dentist decided to send me over there for consultation, I went. So um, this time she wasn't quiet. She was talking. And just because somebody's quiet doesn't mean that they're nice or, or, or understanding or anything good. Because it seemed she seemed like a different person. First of all, when I go to a dentist I know, I usually bring them one of these. It's a replica of a, what can I say, a toothbrush. It's a branch. They sell it on Amazon. It's called a miswack. Anyway, it's just a novelty item. And I would think that a dentist would be very interested in a four to 5,000 year old replica of this dental tool that people used to use. So I told her I, I brought you that gift over there. I had it on the little table in the dental office. And she didn't even know what it was. Now, don't dentists study dental history? I had to study nursing history. Anyway, um, she said, no, no, I don't want that. I said, it's just a novelty item. She said, I have a lot of Indian patients, and they all have broken teeth. They probably have it from chewing on that stick. And she walked out of the office out of the examining room. <laughs> I was stunned. Anyway, the other problem, I had called her on the 19th. She had picked up the phone herself in the office. And I told her I needed a consult. And she said yes. And we, we decided on a date, everything fine. And I had asked on the phone, what will be the charge for the consult? And she said, of just a simple consult, $50. Okay, that's great in these days. So I went the other day, the same day with the Miss Whack experience. And um, she examined me. She took some quick x-rays, said I needed more work. By the way, why did I need repair of a crown, a root canal? She didn't do the crown. She did the root canal. Didn't she clean out the area correctly nine years ago? The internet says that crowns, root canals, they, they only last um, maybe 10 years. Okay, so I went to the front desk and I expected to get the bill for $50 like she told me on the phone. But they gave me a bill for $111. That's more than double the price. And I said that to the young woman at the desk and she said no this that uh, we had to do more things and I had also brought my documents with me there um, you know some copies of x-rays I had done recently and they didn't even give them back to me I, I went downstairs to the truck and then I remembered they didn't give me back my copies of x-rays so I called them upstairs told them I don't have it can you bring it down so they brought it down um, my copies were damaged they were wrinkled and they were folded and I'm thinking if they can't even take care of a piece of paper how are they going to take care of my teeth and my gums and my root canal uh uh warning signs all right so so I was so upset at my experience there how she was kind of what is that word condescending and and flippant and and her style of uh, raising the price when you're finished so I went quickly back to my dentist who had referred me there and I said 
I had a horrible experience there. Don't ask me about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Can you pull my tooth and you know do the extraction and how much would that cost? So, you know, don't don't go ahead with something when you get bad feelings about it. We're not just a body, we're not just the mind, but there's something else. There's a spirit that gives us feelings when something's wrong, when something just doesn't feel right. Don't do it. You can wait. Even when you want to say something to somebody, wait a day or two. Think about it. This is a tremendous computer we have in here. And we don't even have to use it consciously. It just keeps thinking and thinking and throws pop-ups into our mind, things we forgot, things that are connected to whatever we're doing. So um, that's my story. Don't trust people who say they're going to do something and don't. It's always been like that. It's not just that they have a problem in one area. They have a problem in many areas. Think about it.